Hey guys, Dan the Mustang Doctor. I'm gonna show you guys today how to check the uh, supercharger oil on your uh, Vortec or Paxton um, centrifugal supercharger. Basically what you're gonna need for this is uh, an Allen key um, that'll fit in the, the oil port, which is right here. Um, there's two brass screws. Um, this one's a breather screw, um, and, and you can see it's much smaller. Um, we'll zoom in in a second. Um, but then you've got the, the larger screw right here. Um, which uh, I'll just zoom right in now for you guys. That's the breather. That's the uh, um, dipstick, just like in a, in a car for your oil. So essentially what you're gonna do is, get this set up for you guys here. Um, you're actually just gonna jump in here and loosen it, loosen it up. <clears throat> and just, just walk that out. And once you've pulled it, watch that O-ring that's on there. Um, there's a little uh, O-ring there. You do not want to lose that. Um, of course, wipe it off like you would on a regular um, regular car when you're checking the oil. And um, put it right back in. Walk it all the way back down in so you can get it. Uh, you don't have to go tight, but just go um, all the way in so it's deep enough to get the right uh, oil level reading. I just go a little tiny snug, walk it back out, pull it, watch that O-ring, and whoops, there's a hash line there, um, which I don't think I'm in view. There we go. You can see that red oil right in that hash line there, um, and that's how you know um, if your oil's, um, if you've got enough oil or if you need to add. Um, these don't eat oil, so you really shouldn't be adding. Um, I would say if you're adding oil, you got a problem. Um, you want to change the oil every 7,500 miles, um, but you do want to do an oil change on the very first, uh, your very first time, once you install this, uh, you want to change that oil um, after 2,500 miles um, for the first change. So get it, uh, get it out right away, get a change in it, and then after that, it's every 7,500 miles. Um, and I just snug this back in, you don't want to go too tight. Um, but uh, don't forget when you install these two, do the, make sure you, um, cause it wasn't in the instructions. So make sure you install that uh, oil return line um, and get it up in here. You don't want it hanging down in there where it's gonna bounce all over and create false knock. Otherwise your car's gonna be pulling timing unnecessarily. So get it up um, somewhere where it's, where it's not gonna move around and, and bounce around. Um, um, but make sure you change the oil, um, like I said, every 7,500 miles. But that's how you check it. Uh, again, if you've, if you've got it where it's eating oil, I would call Vortec or Paxton and find out if there's an issue. But um, that's how you do it, guys. Have a good one.